G'day. Welcome to Crystal Clear Mathematics where it is easier than you think. And we're currently working our way through Jim Caronis' list of 100 integrals, this being number 31. And it's very, very similar to the previous two, and in particular uh, integral number 29 that simply had a 1 in the numerator position. Now, in my final couple of years of school, my textbooks were written by Jim Caronius. Uh, he was a most remarkable teacher, and I was privileged after leaving university and starting teaching to teach with him for a short while. And I must say that he, not, not only was he a delightful person and a wonderful teacher, but he had a wonderful sense of humour. And this is an example of it. In the midst of this list of very, very difficult integrals, we suddenly find one that is surprisingly easy. Uh, I must share a little bit of an anecdote too. Some years ago, I was uh, visiting a town nearby with my daughter and stopped in to look at a pet shop. And we started chatting with the owner of the pet shop who asked what I did and I mentioned I taught mathematics and so on. And he started to speak very, very highly of his mathematics teacher when he was at school. And it turned out that his teacher was Jim Caronius and he had nothing but praise for him. Wonderful, wonderful teacher. And it turned out that the fellow who owned the pet shop, his name was Jim Einstein, James Einstein. He said, you can tell people that Jim Caronius, has taught, Jim Caronius taught Einstein mathematics, uh, which was true. But there you go. Strange little integral, uh, strange little anecdote. Here we go. What are we going to do with this? Well, I hope you notice immediately that although we might think of half angle notation or T notation or something, if you find the derivative of the denominator, the derivative of 3 cos x is simply negative 3 sin x. Very, very similar to the numerator. So we have in fact a logarithmic structure, pure and simple. So all I would need, if I had a negative 3 here, we'd be in business. So look at this. I put a negative 3 there. I put a negative one third out the front to compensate because negative a third times negative three is one. And now the numerator is the exact derivative of the, de of the denominator. And here's the solution in one step. Negative one third, and this integral is the natural logarithm of five plus three cos x. Well, actually, I don't even need absolute value signs because, because the cosine of x will only have values in the range negative 1 to positive 1. This expression can never be negative. So there we go. That's the solution. A delightful, quick little integral right in the middle of all these quite difficult ones. I think it's Jim just having a bit of fun. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next integral, which no doubt will be more difficult than this. And I thank you for watching.